My dear friends, I have a disturbing truth that I would like to share with you all. I don't bring this up very often, but I have been researching satanic cults for many, many years because of something that happened to me as a young teenager. Now, I was brought up in a Christian cult from a very early age. It was very strict and psychologically damaging. When you have been brought up in an environment with all the brainwashing, it's extremely hard to walk away from and deprogram yourself. You had to spy on each other and report any suspicious behavior to the leaders and you were encouraged not to speak to any family or friends who were not a part of the church. They actually made you feel better about yourself if you disowned them. This is a true story, a true account of what happened to me. While I was there, a woman came through and you could just tell there was something very wrong. She was a very broken woman. Anyways, one day she told me in confidence that she was born into a satanic cult and had only escaped days before turning up at our church. She said there were unimaginable horrors that went on within the satanic coven. Horrible, horrible things that you couldn't imagine people doing. And because she was born into the cult, she had been subjected to the abuse and was forced to participate in it as she grew older. Now I asked her what kind of things went on there, what did they do? Not really understanding what it was that I was asking. She said she saw many children being sexually abused. You know, small children, by all the cult members. They all do it, both men and women. After the child had been savaged like that, they were tied to a table, and then all the cult members would go up and bite chunks out of them and spit them over the high priest, and they would do this until the child died as a satanic sacrifice. I know this is hard to believe, and I wish it weren't true, but sadly it is. You can choose not to believe this information if you like, but it doesn't change the fact that this is happening everywhere, frequently. Now two weeks went by, and I hadn't seen this woman again, so I asked after her, and I was informed that she had sadly taken her life. Now I didn't want to believe this. I didn't want to believe that people were capable of these sickening acts. I tried to put it into the back of my mind, I tried to bury it, I tried to forget it, and it still haunts me to this day. Now this experience was horrific, it affected me badly, and from that point on, I have done deep research into satanic cults. He was 
was killed. He was cut from his throat down to his stomach. And uh, they, they ate him, or bits of him. They killed a man at a ceremony? Yeah. In front of you? Yeah, in front of all of us. All of us. He started screaming when they began to cut. But after a while, you know, he died. It's not me. This couldn't be a terrible dream, a nightmare that you're reliving. No, it's no dream. It's a nightmare, but it's, it's not one you can wake up from. It's there all the time. This really happened. You're quite sure of that. My little girl, Alex, she's about four now. You mean you had a child? Yeah. How old were you when you had that child? Eleven. I used to be taken away most of the time, and one time the baby was taken out of me and then killed in front of me. It was still alive. And then what would happen? Well, after they killed it, they would eat it. But we were also made to eat it. The satanic cults are left hand path occultists. They influence people into their cults with the promise of sex, drugs, money and power. They believe all they have to do is worship the devil and to please him. And they do that through the human sacrifice and the ritualistic abuse. do certain types of magic to influence the dark forces to do their bidding for them. The cult prey against children because they are committing sexual vampirism against them. They believe they are taking the child's life force because the child has more life force to give. And it's that pure life force that they believe will make them live for longer and to make them healthy. The satanic cults are global and widespread. They are possibly in every town and they are snatching children and adults off the streets to use in their rituals and their sacrifices. They have actually infected every aspect of our society. They are a major threat to all of us. She injects the child or baby in the in the neck just to your Right, okay. And how do you know that? Because I saw her doing it. I saw her doing it. 
suffering. She was getting this, 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 so she got this okay. injection, and she did done it so the baby was there, it was just sit, sitting on the table, right. and I was just laughing there, and after she just injected her, and I was just like, it just like, I was like, I was slowly went to sleep. But not like, not just like a thud, not like just fell straight away. They just they put because it was like it was like it, was, it looked like it was slowly moving down like that. Yes, okay. and then after Did they go to sleep. Yes, yeah, and then after they get put put on this bit, they um get the baby, they hang it upside down. And As they hang yes, it with the string. From where? On a on the wall because there's this little this this little like um uh screw is a screw. And let's do put a string, it's like a circle string, yeah. tie it to the legs, hang it up, so down, and then they get a special the knife they use for the cutting the baby's head off. So you know this big 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 ones like this this big Chinese ones yeah. which you chop up coconut and stuff. Right. Yes, they get cleavers, aren't they? No. Okay. I don't know what they're called. You've described it well enough. Yes. So then they, because our dad, he forces me and Gabriel to do it. But because we can't, we're not strong enough to cut the baby set up. He tells us to hold the knife and he puts his hand at the top of our heart. And he helps us to cut the baby set up. Because he's learning, he's, he's teaching me and Gabriel, so when we're older, to do it to our own children and do this kind of stuff to our own children. Where is it this that happens? Um, uh, the church, in the kitchen in our church. The kitchen in the church. Yes, they've okay. got. Yes. So, right. This string, tell me about this string. So it's, the, this, it's just like, it's not just like, just a thin, normal string. It's a bit thick, it's like maybe that, that thick. Okay. And they tie it around, okay. like in a circle. Right. Hang it up on the, on the, on the Where do they tie it to on the baby? So it's like on, on legs, so they put legs right. together, tie it on, yeah. and so it's like one string around and then one string attached, yeah. and it's hanging upside down. They get the the the, the, knife, the knife, but they don't just cut it off absolutely. This is still on. So it's just like the head off, but it's still hanging on. So, okay. Yes, and then the, there's a big white bowl yeah. on the floor. And the blood drips in, and then they we put we put to pour it in a, a big silver goblet. Okay. So the the two things that we used the pla the plates that we used to eat the baby on, yes. So and they tell they tell me and Gabriel, but who actually killed the babies was my father. He kills the babies. conspiracy theorist. I'm a conspiracy realist. It is there. I might mention that speaking of Satanism, there are between 50 and 60,000 human sacrifices, according to three different sources, in this country every year. The satanic cults operate secretly. The satanic cults are, along with our covert criminal enterprise within the government, a serious threat to our society.